Tom, we talked about a little bit about personal branding in the previous video, and we know that LinkedIn is the place to show more about yourself as much as you're comfortable to share. And I've seen recently a lot of people are showing their personal side, their family, their kids, some vacation, some other stuff. But before it was more so much about so professional about, but now we are seeing kind of a, I had a glimpse. And that's why I, it attracted me to you because you are showing kind of something yourself and, you know, your kids and your pink shirt and your silliness. Oh, this is unique. This is different guy. I like to speak with him. So how can people, especially I would say immigrants to here in Canada, they're not familiar about personal brand. I was not familiar about personal brand 10 years ago, but now I'm, now I know. So how can they start? So one of the things will do is and take a look at people who do personal branding specifically on LinkedIn. And there is lots of them. <laughs> and yeah, just take a it. look at the way, yeah, take a look at the way some different people are acting. And one of the important things, especially when you're an immigrant, is how are the local people um, talking? How are they showing up on LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. And that can make a bit of a difference, right? Because I know when I came over here, I had to adjust because now it's not called a resume. It's a CV over here and it's done oh, okay. slightly different. And mm -hmm. they also want to see my hobbies, which I would have never put on a resume. Like, it was, oh, and over here, they want to see that. So yeah. sometimes those local parts will make that difference. Yes. So find some of the people that are local and seeing how, how they're related on there. Unless they're really boring business people. You don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> but it can make a difference going on LinkedIn just to see the now on one of the no link besides the fact that it started, I think it was back in 2003. Like it was one of the first social media platforms yes. and it's been out forever, but it just took a long time to grow It boring business. Who wants to be on there? I just want to, but ever since 2020, maybe mm -hmm. even a year or two before that, research and for like, you know, I'm doing so. I'm actually going to put that on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to show a picture of my family. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, uh, and especially when people were doing interviews like this, or they were getting on Zoom, and then all of a sudden the kids would come in and interrupt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember people like, the first time when the kid came over, it was a disaster. And I think there was a story recently they show now the kid is grown up. It's so like, wow, we've, we've, we've moved around. <laughs> and it was all of a sudden people became more human on, on LinkedIn. Yeah. It wasn't just that business side. Yeah. And so that made a difference and it really opened people up. And with the last year waiting on, like, I'm actually human and I have feelings and, and, and this is how I am. And so that started to make a bit of a difference. And yeah. that's why things got a little bit more open on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. It took a while. So while. take, yeah, take a look to see other people that are on LinkedIn and what they're doing, especially people who do yeah. just do what they're doing what they're about. But think about what you were comfortable with putting out there. Yeah. And that's I mean, one of the really, really important things is just your comfort level. And it's one thing to put on every now and then there a, a picture of a coffee or a picture of I went up for a meal. But if you do that every day, people what the fuck was that, you know? <laughs> yeah. This is not Facebook. It, it, right? It's that, yeah. It, it's the fine balance of telling a personal story and talking about what I do and how I can help a company out. Especially when you have LinkedIn on your mobile, you have this 30 second that you can upload a video about yourself and people will kind of hear you, have a more personality you will show. So that's what I suggest my students when they have your LinkedIn and LinkedIn, it's not just you have to create and forget about it. You need to be there constantly. You know, you can change. I had a guest, he said he changes his banner and headliner every month because he's offering something new. And other people are saying that uh, uh, I only that to network. So it depends what you want to do on LinkedIn, but show your personality is part of it. And it's very important uh, to show it and have a balance, as you mentioned. Like the, um, so the, it's fantastic to have up there because that gives a little bit of a flair and then at least if pe people might be like oh i want to interview them because of that personality that's standing out another thing that's really good to use especially for migrants is 
beside your name, you can record your name. Yes. And you have 10 seconds to do this. Now, my name is difficult to pronounce. So what do I do? I fully utilize those 10 seconds and add a little bit of my personality. And I think mine says something along the lines of, my name is Tom, reminding you that today's connection is tomorrow's opportunity so people can get to hear me. Mm -hmm. And that is where it can really make that difference. We'll get you hear you. And so find those little small areas that you can use too, and that will help. Yeah. Those are great tips, Tom. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for my final question with Tom.